Hi everyone and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So this is like my fifth time trying to make this video and I don't usually do that but I'm wearing my college sweatshirt right now and it shows where I go to school and it and I keep like moving my hair and it ends up showing you where I go to school and I don't want to do that. So this is my like seventh millionth attempt at making this video so let's hope it works. So this is my weekly wrap up as I said. And I read mostly most of my books like on the weekend. So the book that I first picked up was The Goddess Inheritance by Amy Carter. And this was so good. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. I was crying the whole time. Um, I'm not going to go too much about what it's about because this is the third book in the series and I don't want to ruin it. But I will say that the ending really irked me. And I... um was like you can't end it like that and of course because this is a trilogy or so I thought it ends and it literally says and so the goddess test series concludes for now are you kidding me you cannot do that to me I was expecting a good solid ending and I didn't get that so I'm hoping that there's more and she's not just leaving it like that but five out of five crying it really brought out emotions the next book I read on Saturday, because that was like crazy and I kept reading, was The World According to Humphrey by Betty G. Burney. And I had to read this because my kids at school were reading this, so I needed to know what they were talking about. It's about this hamster named Humphrey, and he kind of just has his adventures. He goes to people's houses, and he helps people out. I gave this, I think, a three or a two, because I just felt like this was really like, jam-packed and it just was so rushed like they were just trying to put everything that they could in this book um and I feel like the big message would just go over half my kids like heads so I really I didn't really enjoy this as much as I probably could have I don't know and it's a series too there's like a million more books after it so when that was all done I started another book on Saturday and it was Debbie McComber's uh, McComber, I don't know, Three Brides and No Groom, and this book I started on Saturday and I finished it on Sunday, and it was so good, it's about these three women, they're going to their 15 year college reunion, and they end up meeting at this fountain, which is like the main focal point of like the story, and they were all leaving college, and they were all engaged to like their lovers and all this stuff, but then things happen, and now they're not with those people anymore. So the three women are sharing their stories, and they don't say who they end up with until the very, very end, and it was so good. I just loved this writing. It was just a quick, fun read that was just fun. Then, Sunday was over, and I decided, hey, I should start another book. So I started Matched by Ali Condi, and I finished this on Monday. And I think I gave this four stars on Goodreads. It was a good book. I wasn't in love with it, but I didn't hate it either. Um, this is about a girl named Cassia, Cassia, I don't remember, and she is going to her match ceremony, which is where she's going to find out who she's going to spend the rest of her life with, and she finds out that she's matched to Xander, her best friend, which is very rarity. you usually don't know who you're going to be matched to, who you're matched to, um, normally it's not something from your own town, and so she finds out she's matched to Xander, and she goes home, she's really happy, and then she decides to look at this, like, chip thing, which they all get, and it's supposed to, like, give you more information about who you're matched with. So she decides to look at it, like, maybe there's things about Xander that she doesn't know, and somebody else's face flashes up. And it causes, like, mass confusion for Cassia, and she ends up finding out, like, oh, this is a mistake, he was, he's not even allowed to be matched in the first place, and... So it goes on from there, and I was just kind of mad at Cassia for most of it because it's like she kind of started acting like Xander didn't even exist anymore, and that's something I didn't like. So I will probably eventually read Crossed and hopefully Reached after. It was an enjoyable read. I read it pretty quickly, and I don't know. I thought it was a good dystopian read. Then for the rest of the week, which I just finished this yesterday because I ended up having a snow day yesterday too, and I was like... I just wanted to knock this book out because it was taking me forever. Which is 19 Minutes by Jodi Picoult. And this book is about a um, boy who ends up going to the school. And he ends up shooting 
10, he ends up killing 10 people and wounds 19, or, no, he wounds a lot, I can't remember how many, but, and it's this, like, back and forth crazy story where there's, like, 70 million characters you're following, they all have their own point of view, and then it's, like, now, the day after, five months before, five months after, 17 years ago, like, and it's just, like, so back and forth that it was almost really kind of hard to follow, and it was, like, nothing was really happening, so I gave this three stars because it was just, like, it was a good story, but it's just, at the same time, it's, like, it was so dragged out, and then the ending was just, like, I read that whole book just for that to happen, like, I could have just, I don't know, it was just not as good as I was expecting it to be, I'll put it that way, but, um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that, so, that's all I read this week. I read five books, which is, like, nuts. Um, I'm now at book... Tw I've read 23 books in 2013, so I'm almost halfway to my reading goal, and it's only March. It's kind of a problem. I might end up having to change my reading goal. I'm not sure. But um, I will get back to you guys at some point. I was going to post a video this past week. But, um, I was going to do my breaking the spines tag that I filmed a while ago, but then everybody else posted there, so I don't really want to post mine too, so I'm going to wait. Um, I went to the library today, but I didn't find anything I wanted, which is surprising, so I don't even have a book haul coming up. But, um, I hope you guys are reading some fabulous books, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone!